Hi guys, we made it to Seattle. It feels like 11 o'clock Chicago time. I'm looking for my friends. Currently running on pretzels and cranberry juice, so not gonna Hello, people. I'm trying to like do this while running. How do people do this while running? <laughs> Hello, besties. It is my first day in Seattle. All right, we're gonna we're gonna walk and do this because my arm stability is not good. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Hello, besties. We are here in a different city. This is my first full day of visiting some of my friends, and I'm gonna take you along, kind of show you how. I navigate traveling with no food rules. I know nutrition can be stressful enough. Sorry, there's, there's a road here. Let's run past it. <laughs> so bright out now. I'm gonna bring you along, kind of show you how I navigate traveling without stressing about what I'm eating. Still kind of eating things that make sure I feel good but also having fun and living in the moment. This morning I wanted to run. Sorry, this is so shaky. Upper body strength. Who is she? None here. I wanted to explore a new running area. This path is beautiful. There's a little river. I'm gonna finish my run. And then we're gonna get our day started. First day is gonna be super touristy, so let's get into it. Good morning. It's day two. We're out here on another run adventuring. 
I cannot run and hold this camera straight, so we're gonna walk and talk. Yesterday was such a fun day. How I kind of navigated it nutrition-wise was we started off breakfast at Mercury's, which was this breakfast place that my friend wanted to go to and bring us to. I got a sandwich because I was craving something a little bit more filling that would leave me full longer because I knew we had a long day of activities ahead of us. We kind of adventured around to the Space Needle Pike's place and we were starting to get a little bit hungry at that point. I got this like crispy pork, like this some type of crispy pork pastry, which is really good. I was at this point really hungry. So I'm glad I got something with protein in it so it would hold me over a little bit compared to just getting a carb because I knew my body was needing that. And then it was my friend's birthday so we went out. Obviously at all these places I'm trying something new but I knew that I wanted something with like solid carbs. So we got that white rice in there and I always try to get a protein at each meal if possible. And it was also one of my friend's birthdays. So there were some drinks involved. I'm feeling a little bit groggy today because of it. I don't know if I drink enough water. Bobby, don't be upset with me about that one. We're gonna push water this morning and if need be, I could take some ibuprofen. Kind of like a day of trying new things, but also like, I think I ended up between running and walking. I went like eight miles yesterday, so I was feeling um, a little bit underfueled, but that's okay. So second day is gonna be a little bit more of a chill day. Let's do day two. And we're gonna finish this run. Happy Friday. We're out here another morning enjoying the Washington nature. Today we're just walking because we have a hike plan, which I'm so excited about. Kind of run you through how I navigated nutrition and eating yesterday. I've been privileged to have access to a fridge while on vacation. So fully taking advantage of eating those leftovers for breakfast and then for lunch, there's no harm in keeping your leftovers and eating them. Like you're, you're paying for that food. May as well get the most of it. So that was super nice. Also cost efficient. But we had a huge dinner. We got dim sum, which was so good. And I was definitely feeling very full. I ate so many green beans. I'm pretty sure like half my stomach was green beans by the end of the night. I definitely probably ate. I def it wasn't probably. I definitely ate 
past fullness. Last night, my tummy was a little bit uncomfortably descended. <laughs> if this might happen to you, and there's nothing wrong with that. I was enjoying the food. I don't know the last time I've had dim sum. Today, I was definitely still feeling really full when I woke up. Now, just to kind of hopefully feel a little bit better I'm going on this walk, just cause walking tends to help calm down my tummy and my digestive tract. And this isn't to say you should like work out after you eat a big meal. It's just more so one, I'm enjoying the Washington nature. It's not really like this in downtown Chicago. Two, I've been getting back into like working out more consistently. So from a mental health standpoint, that's helping a lot. So a walk will be a little bit more gentler on my body than a run right now. So we have a hike ahead of us today. We're gonna see some beautiful gardens. And then we're going to the Seattle specific bar, which I'm so excited for. So I'm not really sure what the food plan is. We might get donuts this morning, I don't know. But I'll show you what happens.
Last day. We're out here enjoying the last day of running the Washington path. We're gonna walk because I can't hold this camera steady for the life of me. I missed our little recap together yesterday because we've done a lot of walking and a lot of movement those preceding days, so. What? <sighs> catching my breath, oh my gosh. No recap yesterday, but that's okay. Today's the last day we're visiting Washington. We can kind of sum up, or we could talk about how nutrition has been going so far. So one of the biggest things you've probably noticed is we've been trying all these restaurants. Well, my friend and I who are visiting, our friends are trying the new restaurants and are getting a couple different things because we want to try them all, but we don't want to just eat one thing, you know? So that's something I highly recommend, especially when traveling and you're in a new space and we'll try a different a bunch of different types of foods split it with whoever you're with so that way you're able to try different types of foods i've been trying to consistently eat like three times a day oh someone's coming okay we're in the clear um i've been trying to eat at least three times a day just because someone else here i'm hearing people oh there's bikers coming okay i've been trying to eat three times a day because i just know i'll get super hungry I go really long without eating. I'm trying to chime in there. Where are they at? Not me being creepy. Oh, no. oh, they're coming. All right, they're gone. It's just us now. We're just trying to eat multiple times a day. I don't really love going long periods of time without eating in general, but especially while traveling. You don't always know the food situation, so trying to grab a snack or utilize leftovers, which I've been doing quite a bit since we have access to a fridge, which is super nice. Also very nice because we've had leftovers at almost every restaurant to some capacity and we can just save it. And we definitely have an abundance of leftovers between all of us right now. But the nice thing is our friends who are hosting us do not mind taking it off our hands. So that's good. I'm at the end of my path. Running has been good for the mental health. I want to take advantage of running, especially when I'm in the mood for it. But I'll show you what the rest of our day looks like. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end. Apparently I just always forget to film my outro, so here it is. I don't know why I always forget to say goodbye to you guys. I think about everything else but this. But this is your sign that you can embrace food freedom. Food is so much more than just like fuel and calories and nutrients. It's also about like enjoyment and bonding with your friends and experiences and grieving. It's so much more than just food itself, but we kind of perceive it as like something to just give us energy and keep us going. So I hope you enjoyed. This was probably my favorite video I've ever made so far. Like and subscribe for more. I don't have any trips planned. Actually, that's a lie. I do have a trip planned. So if you want to see more of this, let me know. Otherwise, we'll catch you next week. Also, look, she's growing. The books that I don't know how to organize. Oh. They just go up here with my mugs. Cool. Real, real cool stuff, Emily. Really cool.